What's going on guys? Old Uncle Lee, Bo Gear RC Videos. So today I want to give kind of a final review on this uh, Traxxas TRX4 Sport. Since I've had a uh, good opportunity now to put this thing through its paces and form a real good opinion about it. Um, I did want to do this video for a couple weeks now but uh, other videos came to be before I did this and in a way it's kind of good because I got even more experience with this truck and formed an even more solid opinion of it um, first though before we get going look at here look at here um, yes sir we got some new stickers on this thing this thing's turning into a billboard <laughs> But that's good that's good we are representing our fellow rc enthusiasts out there uh you know rc voodoo we got highway one rick scale rc uh creepy crawler garage over there at uh, tandem c television rc trail cats and just today we've added axiomatic to the uh list of youtube channels represented on this traxxas trx4 sport um we've got the uh wny scalers group uh up in uh around buffalo new york area and also fields hobby center there it is fields hobby.com um i did get a little bit of video at fields hobby and i'm going to throw that up at the end of this review and we're going to also see today about maybe doing a couple free upgrades to this thing but we'll get into that once i uh talk a little bit more about my opinion of this truck now out of the box for the price point that this traxxas is set at um this is a great truck if you want a truck to take out of the box put a battery in and go do your thing without having to change too much of anything um this is a good truck i can't uh honestly you know steer you away from doing that it, it's good um i do have to eat some crow this time uh in my initial uh thoughts um, I said that I didn't like these tires, they were too light, and they were going to have to go. But, the fact of the matter is, these tires work. Um, these tires work better than the Nitto tires that come on the uh, SCX-102 JK CRC Edition. Um, that's just facts. They, they just do. Um, at this point, I really don't see a need to change these tires yet um one of the problems i do see is the front bumper um let's see let me see if we can get a little bit better light here the front bumper um is a lot of the times in the way it's hard to get your front tire up on a rock um easier with the axio scx 10 2 because you know it kind of leads more with the tire but i think if we can get this bumper maybe some of this body out of the way open this area up a little bit that uh, we can improve upon that and that's something i'm going to look at uh, trying to do here in just a minute um another problem i see with the TRX4 Sport is again Traxxas likes their bells and whistles and I compliment them for taking a bunch of bells and whistles off of this truck but this right here this is a trailer hitch and well you know if you want to pull a trailer around with your axial or with your uh, Traxxas that might be cool to you uh, to me, this is a rock anchor. And uh, right here, we're hitting the ground. This is 
limiting our incline and it catches on rocks it's just always catching on rocks and here I'll show you Now, guys, my axial never did that. <laughs> anyway, um, on to the front. Um, the steering servo in here isn't the greatest. I think uh, when we go to upgrading this thing, that's one of the first things that I see mechanically or electronically in this truck that needs to be upgraded is a steering servo um you know just it's just kind of weak and with some of the things i plan on doing um i think it's only going to get worse as we you know maybe add weight to this here's another thing um so when i pick this up it's sitting there flat um when you high center this it sits there flat because the battery is center mounted in this truck and you know it's an even weight distribution so when you high center it's pretty much high centered and you know maybe you can get off of that maybe you can't with the axial the weight bias was to the front which pulled the front tires down to maybe you can get some traction on something and pull yourself off so weight bias to me is still an issue um it's not top heavy it, uh, i really like the way this performs um and like i said i don't have too much bad to say about it and the things that are an issue to me I think can it be easily resolved but out of the box all the way around performance this is a great truck um, like I said tires are better on this than they are on the axial out of the box so that gives it a big advantage out of the box performance wise um, you do have good clearance here in the front um, like I said, the, the real issues to me, bumper clearance, the rock anchor on the back bumper, and, you know, not enough forward bias when you bottom out. So, these are all things we're going to look at fixing. And uh, first, you know, before I start doing money upgrades, I want to see what we can do to this thing for free and uh so we're going to start working today on the bumpers all right so i went through the process of videoing what i did and you know i put it all together and this thing came out to be like 18 minutes long so i decided to make a long story short guys uh what we did we took this piece right here uh four screws we took it out, we took the bumper off, and we flipped this upside down, which brought this up as opposed to going down. And that gave us quite a bit more clearance here, uh, I would say over a quarter of an inch more. Now when we do this, uh, we did have to trim the front of the truck. Let me just show you this it's the front of the body um we trimmed a whole bunch out of here guys and it all gets covered up quite nicely you know see we trimmed all this all this crap out from in front of the tires so anyway yeah and then we trimmed it all the way up to this body line here 
came across here all the way out to the fenders and uh, worked out pretty nicely it uh, doesn't actually look very bad at all just a second we'll stick it on and I'll show you um, before we do that though I didn't do this to the back bumper because this mount is quite a bit different it's you know when we flip it over it's way up here and the bottom of the back bumper would be higher than the top of the front bumper uh, maybe if we had another front bumper mount to replace this back one with that would work out good so instead what I did still in keeping with the free upgrade we got rid of all of that you know this rock anchor yeah just got that out of the way and uh, cleared up all that room so uh, to show you what it looks like now stick the body back on here and there we have it um, doesn't look bad got all this stuff body was hanging clear down here below the bumpers and uh, we got rid of all that got rid of all this crap up here in front of the tires got this bumper up out of the way and now I think we can get this thing up on a rock so there we have it guys uh, free upgrades to your TRX4 Sport I know that this is going to make quite a bit of difference in the performance and I guess uh, now we will move on to uh, the uh, fields hobby shop and uh, there's kind of a surprise in there guys stick around and watch that till next time old Uncle Lee old Gary RC video saying I'll see ya alright guys I want to show you something cool this is Fields Hobby here in Buffalo, New York. York. This is where the uh, WNY Crawler Group uh, hangs out a lot. And we're going to go inside. Got some crawlers. This is Greg. Not me, not me. What's How you doing, brother? brother? Good, good. Glad to have you here. So check this out guys this is this is pretty cool back here oh the, the LED kits from the yeah the drones mm -hmm. okay. oh. yes indeed that's Bull Gear RC right on the screen here at Fields Hobbies <laughs> what's up brother what's going on man how you doing good 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 crawling with you excellent yes same as you so you picking up a sound kit huh yeah I gotta pick up the sound kit for the drift car Oh man, that's sick right there. I like that. So let's go over here and check out what they got in the crawler selection. How you doing, brother? Oh yeah, looky here, looky here. Oh, there's that new blazer. Some hard bodies. Here comes the crawlers. So that's a pretty good, cool little uh, 12 scale right there. Tires and wheels. Yes, sir. They also uh, make the vinyl decals customized. <coughs> hey, Homer. All right, guys, there's kind of a quick look around Fields Hobbies. See ya.